Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I made a huge mistake. Some of you are really confused because this one is not my normal posting day, but two, you can't find my last video about black owned hair products. Well, that's because I deleted it. I made a mistake, so I'm here to fix it. One, I use the Main Choice Shine Spray. Although I do love this spray, this is not a black owned hair product. I just found out that the Main Choice is no longer black owned because they sold their company last year. So it is black founded, which is still great, but it's not black owned. So that was mistake number one. I was like, oh, technicality, my bad. I pinned a comment, I fixed it in my description box. I told you guys on Instagram. So I was gonna just take that L. But then this morning I'm feeding my baby at 6 a.m. going through some comments and I realized that some people were questioning if the brand Luss was black owned. So I did some more research and I emailed the company and turns out Luss is also not a black owned brand. What is wrong with me? I could have sworn I saw Luss on a top black owned brand list. And then when I looked again this morning, couldn't find it. When I looked up the owner, I looked at her picture and I still thought she was black, but turns out she's Middle Eastern. So this is not a black owned hair product. It is a woman owned Middle Eastern owned product, which is awesome in itself, but that was just not the purpose of this video. So I failed. And then the cherry on top, reading more of your comments. Thank you for keeping me accountable. Curls, yes, it's still black owned, but this gel in particular has silicone. What is going on? Unacceptable. Now I could blame this on just the normal stress of being a black person in America during this time, watching police brutality and Karens on Instagram every five minutes, being stuck in quarantine with the newborn as I'm trying to film three videos in one day, breastfeeding in between each videos while also trying to explain systemic racism to family and friends. But that's no excuse. I know better. I don't know how I missed Demethicone on here. I read this after someone asked me, didn't see it, read it again, and it was there. Maybe it was because these two gels in their new line don't have silicone, but then randomly these two, so maybe I read those two first, I don't know. Excuses, excuses. I know better, and I teach you guys not to just read one bottle and assume the rest are okay, and I didn't follow my own rules. So now I must be punished. Okay, not punished, but I just could not have that video live on my channel for more than 24 hours. So I'm coming on here to apologize for the false information. There's unfortunately a lot of fake news going around right now and I do not want to be involved in that type of movement at all. So I'm here to say I'm sorry for misleading you and we're gonna do this again the right way. Now, before I redo my entire wash day and hairstyle, I do want to remind you that this is a continuation of my previous video where I really go into detail on why it's so important for you to use your platform and your voice to raise awareness about all of the racism that is happening in America. I also encourage you guys to watch my last video because I'm donating all the money in that video from ads to the many organizations that are put in place to help black people. So just by watching that video, you will be helping donate money to a good cause. If you can, I've also added a donation tab right below where you can help donate to the NAACP. Every single dollar is appreciated. So if all you have is one extra dollar, please donate it so we can help make a change. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I created this look using all black owned hair products. Take two. Okay, let's wake up this face. It is literally 7 a.m. I just hopped out of bed because I couldn't go back to sleep after I realized what I've done. So I grabbed my shampoo, the Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo. It's a very gooey consistency, but I love how much it lathers. It just makes my hair feel nice and clean, but also moisturizing so it's not stripping away the natural oils in my hair. Then I rinse it out and then I grab my conditioner. For my conditioner, I have the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Shea Curl Defining Conditioner. This is available at Sephora, sulfate paraben silicone free, and it has a 
interesting smell. It just smells clean. I can't really figure it out. I applied a generous amount of conditioner to both sides of my hair, splitting my hair into two sections and finger detangling. After I got rid of all the tangles, you'll see that my curls are very juicy looking, very moisturized and defined. Side note, something else I like to do in the shower is grab some rosemary essential oil, add a couple drops to your shower and let it mix up with your steam, creating a spa-like experience. These are very stressful times we're living in. So let's take a couple seconds in your shower, take a deep breath and relax. Once I got out the shower, it's now time to apply my deep conditioner and I grabbed the Camille Rose Lavender Quench Deep Conditioner Moisturizing Hair Mask. This is a very thick consistency and it feels like a big glob of glue. Literally feels like a jar of Elmer's glue, but it smells amazing. You smell the lavender, it's very refreshing. I love it. And I do usually recommend applying it directly to your ends first, because that's usually the driest part of your hair, and then working your way up. I'm also going to apply more of that mask to the very back of my head. This is the part of our hair that's usually sitting under the water in the shower, and I admit I take very hot showers, so it's almost similar to getting heat damage when you just sit your hair under the hot water. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra moisture there. Then I'm going to put all my hair up and away using a clip, and then I'm going to put on the largest shower cap you probably have ever seen. These shower caps by The Main Choice really came in handy when I had my braids, so it's really good to cover protective styles while in the shower. But now I'm just going to let this sit for 20 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. And I'm back after maybe an hour and I just washed out all of my deep conditioner. Let's see how the curls are looking. Yep, just like last time, very moisturized. Now for my styler, I'm gonna choose between my favorite two products from Trey Lux. I do like their Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream as well as the High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. I used both of them last time and I really like my results, so I'm gonna do that again using just a little bit of this cream. It smells like caramel apples. It's my fave. I'm just gonna use like that much because my hair is already moisturized from the deep conditioner and I want to focus it on my ends where it's usually drier and smooth it down just like this look at that extra shine already oh yeah all right now I'm gonna go in with some gel using the high definition splitting my hair in two and this is like a very jelly consistency. It smells like perfume. Look at that shine, like, it's so good. Trilux is available at Select Whole Foods and on their website. So now I'm gonna let this dry to get a little bit more of a cast, and then I'll come back to diffuse. And I'm back, now my hair is about 90% dry. Let's look at the results. Once again, beautifully shiny. But now let's fluff it out and diffuse. Fabulous. Look at the shine. Look at the moisture. All right, now let's finish the rest of the updo style. So first I'm going to section the back part of my hair. I'm gonna put this away in a scrunchie. Now I'm gonna separate the front of my hair. This section right here. And now this middle part, I'm going to make into a ponytail. I actually remembered my brush this time, but I'm going to be using the Wonder Curl Curl Control Styling Lotion. This is a hair styling gel. I'm gonna put this right on the desk. I don't have any more hands. All right. 
right, and now this little pompadour part right here. I'm going to get a little bit more of this Wonder Curl Styling Gel just to kind of flat down any flyaways. Grabbing an extra large bobby pin and holding this in place. Just like that, and then I'll take down the bottom. Voila. Now I'm gonna lay down these edges using the Myle Organics Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. And I'm not sure if I have started my postpartum shedding yet, but I might be looking a little thin around the edges. So I'm gonna lay down whatever is left. Grabbing a children's toothbrush. No, this is not my son Jalen's. I'm going to just dab some in here and we're gonna lay these down. Wow, I really do love this edge control though. It's so smooth and shiny. So there you have it, my easy pompadour half up, half down look using all black owned brands for real this time um, let me know what you guys think leave a comment below give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i hope this video clarified everything and you guys can find some products that you might want to try let me know what are your favorite black owned hair products and which ones you want me to review next i'm always open to trying new products especially if they're black owned i can give back to my people and you also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. To be honest, that is where I find most of my information about all the protests that are going on and all the bills that are being passed and the changes that we are making. So it's really good to get involved on social media and to use your voice, whether you have 10 followers or 10,000, to address your following so they can know how they also can help sign a petition or donate or just spread awareness about what's going on. It's also extremely important for you to use your voice when it's time to vote. So I do encourage you all to register to vote so you can physically make a difference. Also watch my last video on repeat. Let it play while you're in the shower. I don't care, I'm not going to be offended. All that ad money is going to be donated to organizations as well. I will see you guys Sunday for one more Black Lives Matter video and that video is going to be addressing brands all these brands are posting that they're here for the cause and they want equality but we got to make sure that that happens aside from this little instagram post so we're going to talk about how to do that next sunday so hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as that video goes live and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bianca renee today